Hello, this is Mike from Ham Radio Science. We did an earlier video on adding a remote Bluetooth display using an Android device using the Blue Duo software and the HC05 dongle. And if you haven't seen that, this basically allows you to remotely tune and uh, access some of the controls uh, on the FDM through the Android touchscreen. Well, we decided just to take this a step further and add audio streaming to the setup so that you could use this um, as a complete remote display. You can pick it up and take it into another room and monitor your um, FDM Duo remotely. Now, to do that, we are using um, some software called SoundWire. But before we get into that, let me show you the, how well this works. Get the volume turned up a little bit here. One every two weeks. That is also true. We had 2,000 votes at Rosillo Canal for the Twitter poll question. Should we have a summer book club? 57% said it was a terrible idea. 43% said it was awesome. So we're in to get this working, it's actually fairly simple. Uh, we're using a program called SoundWire, which is requires two uh, parts. One part is a app that's installed on your Android device and the other is a server component that is installed on a PC. Now the server component can be even installed on a Raspberry Pi, so this is a pretty lightweight um, application if you need it to be. Otherwise, you can just run it off your computer to send the audio to the uh, Android device, be it a phone or a tablet. Once you've installed the SoundWire app on your Android device, what you need to do is head on over to the author's uh, website and download the server application on whatever uh, device you're going to use it on. Here again they have a Raspberry Pi version, Linux version, and a couple of Windows versions here. So you're going to download that and install it and then we're going to come back and uh, take a look at how you set that up to work with the uh, FDM Duo. Okay, once you have the SoundWire server application installed on your PC, what we're going to have to do is do a little setup. Uh, one of the things that you want to do as far as the FDM Duo is concerned is be sure that the TX USB connector is plugged into your computer because this is going to allow us to transfer the audio to the server uh, directly from the radio. Also, you might want to take a quick look at um, menu setting number six that controls the auxiliary volume level and you may need to tweak that a little bit to get a good level into the um, um, server program. Now once you've kind of looked at those things when you start the program up you're going to have to pick the proper uh, input and one kind of thing that's kind of weird about the USB uh, connection on the FDM Duo as you'll see, I have one here and then one here. Well, this one is not right. How do I know that? It's because when I pick the right one, then I should start seeing some audio um, being shown on the level meter here. So what you want to do is adjust everything so that you're not really overdriving the level and you'd be in uh, good shape. So once that's all done and working, you're going to leave this running and then you can start the SoundWire app on your uh, Android device and the audio will be passed from the FDM Duo through Wi-Fi to your Android device. Okay, once you've installed the server application on your PC or Raspberry Pi, whatever you decide to use, um, basically it's just uh, downloading the SoundWire software from the Play Store. Now I would recommend that if you are going to use this a good bet, I would just go ahead and buy the $4 paid version. There is a demo version, but the paid version gives you a lot more options to control the streaming rates and so forth. But once that's all done, all you really have to do is start the uh, application and um, it should automatically find the server and if it's working right, you'll immediately get audio. So we're getting it here, it's just a little low wrong way. There we go. So you can tell we're getting the audio from the uh, Android tablet. Now all we have to do now is just go back and 
start the um, application for the Blue Duo. Now it's going to interrupt the audio just a little bit when it first starts and it takes a second or two to come back, but eventually it, it will work. There we go. So here again, now you can just pick this up and take it to another room and um, just tune around on your uh, FDM Duo and listen to whatever you want to listen to. Okay, as you can see, this is a pretty simple little project and if you already have the Blue Duo software an HC05 module working, this is a very easy add-on and it's kind of nice to be able to pick everything up and take it to another room and listen to your FDM Duo uh, remotely. Thanks for watching. This is Mike from hamradiosciencecom